All righty, here we go. This is Lori Gombos from Outback Motor Tech, and we are ready to introduce our Ducati Desert X crash bars combo. Let's talk about some specs, and I'm gonna do a walk around. Try not to do it at the same time, but uh, bear with me in case I'm going too fast. I will try to slow down. Anyhow, this is the crash bars combo, and as it stands, we are only going to sell uppers and lowers together in combination. And the reason for that is that the lowers alone and is due to the lack of proper mounting points, the lowers alone will just not do much in our opinion. What we ended up doing here to kind of create a very unique structure we built a large steel bracket that goes along and in front. It's tied into the engine here. Unfortunately, this bike just lacks mounting points. There's absolutely nothing really. We only have two frame mounting points and one is back up here and one is where the upper crash bars connect and that is indeed frame mounted. And the rest, we had to utilize the engine essentially. So the, sorry, the, the engine block. And we have one point here. And, and that should do enough to prevent it from just shifting. And then we also tied the cross brace into this little bracket here, that's the OEM skid plate bracket. Not much, but this is what we got to work with. So, and on this side, we put a large rubber bumper in case it ends up shifting. It can, again, prevent it from shifting too much. And because it's rubber and this plastic is pretty hard, there should be no issues, but like I said, we're gonna do the drop drag test and that's gonna give us some answers. So we have two cross braces, one for the lower crash bars and one for the bracket here. And elsewhere is just this bracket up here. Again, we had to use a lot of brackets to kind of create some sort of healthy structure. Other than that, we have, of course, the, the tubing. It's 25 millimeter diameter tubing, steel, two millimeter wall thickness. The tabs are five millimeters thick. In terms of colors, we're gonna offer the glossy white, as well as the black, matte black textured powder coat. And so the other cool thing that we came up with is a solution for customers who want to retain the original skid plate. And that's why the, the bracket cross brace has the, the cutouts. And so this will allow you to keep the skid plate. It's probably good enough for a lot of people. It's, although it's thin, but it's fairly good for basic off-roading and any, you know, anyway, people can decide what they wanna put on their bikes. Okay, so as you can see, there are two holes up here with the nut welded on the backside. And this is for our skid plate. And then there are two more attachment points here. And that's again for our skid plate. There's gonna be a large steel bracket coming down here, wrapping around at the bottom. And two more mounting points, and that is for the water pump guard, which is gonna be added in this video a bit later on once I'm done with the installation. Skip plate is on. Just a word of caution, this is still a pre-production version. You're gonna see details such as the Kickstand guard, kickstand shield. It's not complete yet, but it's in place and it's gonna get featured 
we're just gonna have to beef it up. But for now, it's good. It's good for demonstration purposes. It's bolted on by a bunch of eight millimeter diameter bolts. We didn't want to cut any corners. The brackets are all steel, four millimeter thick steel brackets supporting the lower middle half and the front end. Unfortunately, the rear end cannot be supported unless, unless you are willing to sacrifice the center stand. Because there's a mounting point here, it's nice and beefy, but it's a bit of a catch-22 situation. Uh, there are a lot of people who want to keep a center stand or want to have a center stand mounted, and probably there are some who don't. So we think center stands are pretty useful, and so we're going to leave this free. We're not going to occupy it, and most likely the bigger impacts are going to get distributed at the front and mid section anyways. The skip plate itself is aluminum. It's five millimeters thick. And like I said, the brackets are all steel. And we did our best to kind of give it a nice design, kind of follow the shape, not to make something that's obnoxious or oversized. We added some ventilation holes as well as they will allow heat to escape and not get trapped and for their more noise from the engine. So there's a lot of vibration, there's a lot of resonation, so that has all that has the chance to to escape and not get trapped in there. And that is the result so far. Now it is time for some testing. And we'll keep you posted. Also, all the bolts are recessed, so nothing is sticking out. That includes the bottom, nothing at all. And we're gonna offer what you see here, which is the glossy white and the matte black textured surface powder coat as well. And the, the texture surface, the matte black, is a little bit more durable, a bit more scratch resistant. This can show a lot more, but kind of matches the color of the bike. This is the full protection combo, which we're going to name Ultimate Protection Combo. And that consists the crash bars, upper, lower, together and the skip plate itself. So should you have any questions, leave us a comment, email us info at outbackmotortech.com or call 877-931-3636. Thanks for watching.